Next up, junior welterweights, two Massachusetts-based fighters. Freddie Sanchez from Worcester, Massachusetts, taking on Rafael Francis from Brockton, Massachusetts. Sanchez wearing the red trunks with the black trim, whereas Francis is wearing the blue trunks with the white trim. Sanchez enters this record of 1-0 with one knockout. This is Francis's pro debut. Worcester, Massachusetts and Brockton, Massachusetts, both cities with well-respected history in a boxing, respectively. Worcester, very notably, had a recent world champion, Jose Antonio Rivera, going back maybe a decade ago. Brockton, of course, Rocky Marciano, marvelous Marvin Hagler, amongst others. Rafael Francis with Mike Campiello in his corner. Another well-respected fighter from Brockton. Longtime New England super bantamweight champion. Looks like there's a marking under the left eye of Sanchez. Not sure exactly what caused that or what exactly the marking is. Some good work upstairs by Raphael Francis. Not the most crisp punching in the world, but effective nevertheless as it lands. Francis with a left hand. Both fighters flowing away to some degree. Leaving themselves open, but neither guy has been able to capitalize on that just yet. You have a feeling at some point, one of these guys is going to connect flush at a point where the other leaves themselves open exposed. Nice left hand courtesy of Francis. Another good left hand courtesy of Francis. He's learning to time that left hand. Having some success with it here in round number one. Round one comes to a conclusion, and I give that round to Brockton, Massachusetts native Raphael Francis based on the effectiveness of that left hand that he timed. Should be noted that I do currently reside in Brockton, Massachusetts. However, I assure you that had no impact on how I scored that round. It just seemed that Francis landed that right hand, or that left hand, excuse me, with some regularity. Freddy Sanchez, a part of the same Worcester crew that brought Andy Gonzalez, who fought early in the evening and had a successful pro debut with a second round TKO of Lawrence's Anthony Everett.
Some good work upstairs by Freddy Sanchez here in round two after he had a less than effective round one. Freddy Sanchez has done a good job adjusting between round one and round two, whereas Francis really has not been able to get off thus far here in the second frame. Nice left hand, lead left by Francis. And Francis falls to the floor, but well, it, no knockdown rule, no slip rule. The ref didn't make him clean his gloves, so maybe the gloves actually didn't touch the canvas. Francis does need to watch out because he is off balance at times and almost gets caught off balance with the left hand by Sanchez. They get caught with it, not enough to put him down, however. Nice right hand by Sanchez. Less than 10 seconds to go in round number two and they're gonna rule a slip as Sanchez hits the floor. Might have been a left hand from Francis in there but that was not what was ruled that put him down. We'll say for that trip to the canvas that was ruled a slip towards the end of round two. It was an effective round for Freddy Sanchez. So whereas I gave round one to Rafael Francis, round two I give to Freddy Sanchez, and this fight is all tied up at one round apiece as we head into round number three here at the Royale in Boston, a part of this Big Six Entertainment Championship Boxing Show. Still to come in our main event of the evening, former United States Olympian Jason Big Six Estrada, the man who gives this promotion its namesake, returns after a layoff to take on a man taking on an opponent after an even lengthier layoff, Steve Vucosa of Boston, Massachusetts. And also in our co-feature, Chip Perez from Hartford, Connecticut takes on Lawrence, Massachusetts native Augustin Morris. Round three begins between Sanchez and Francis. Francis turned his back to his opponent. I think just because of the momentum he had throwing a punch and takes a shot to the back of the head as a result of it. Sanchez the aggressor moving forward, Francis in the corner.
Nice left hand by Sanchez. And that might punctuate round three in his favor. Round three coming to a conclusion. And one more round to go on my scorecard. Freddie Chances has pulled ahead two rounds to one. This is the final four rounder on our card tonight. Of what has to this point been a very entertaining evening of boxing. Andy Gonzalez kicked things off with a second round TKO of Anthony Everett. Travis Demko had a early TKO of Paulo Souza. Carlos Candelario laid to waste Moses Rivera. Ramil Shelton surprisingly upset Michael Weisberg and needed less than 40 seconds to do so, knocking him out. Joe Wilson Jr. won a majority decision over Jimmy Smith. Jake Kelly stopped Brian Diaz after two knockdowns. And here we are, Freddie Sanchez and Rafael Francis as they head into the fourth and final round. Sanchez with a nice shot upstairs. Francis forced to hold on as a result. And a wild left hand thrown by Francis almost spun himself around. Sanchez winning this round in my estimation, and I think Francis needs to win this round to have a draw. Sanchez doing his best to try to finish Francis. Francis still standing, however, despite eating some clean shots. And round four, the final bell sounds, and the fighters throw some shots at the end after the bell has sounded. So, the four round light welterweight affair between Freddie Sanchez and Rafael Francis concludes. I think after losing round one, Sanchez swept rounds two, three, and four and should have done enough for a decision win. We'll see how the official judges see it.
four rounds of boxing, we have a majority decision. Judge the ringside, Matt Reed is used about 38 to 38, while judges Jack Morrow and Dan Fitzgerald seem the same, 39 to 37, both to your winner by majority decision and still undefeated, Freddie Sanchez! So a majority decision win for Freddie Sanchez over Rafael Francis. One judge had the fight, even the other judges saw it as I did, three rounds to one. Good scoring and a good win for Freddie Sanchez, who improves to 2-0 with one knockout here tonight in Boston.